Okay, by considering algebraic expressions so that it will never be possible for the surface area of a sphere of radius r to equal to the surface area of a cube with sides of length r. The surface area of a sphere, the formula for it is on page 2, right? So I just copied that down there. So you don't have to remember it, it's there. And then it's equal to the surface area of a cube of length r. So let's draw a little cube here. Okay cube of course has all the sides the same length so when I work out the area of one surface I'd have r times r which is like r squared yeah now you're gonna have six of these okay because there's six sides to the cube so the surface area of the cube will equal six r squared they say that they can never be equal so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna assume the opposite assume they can be equal and we show that Actually, it just can't happen. So let's put them equal to each other. So we have 4 pi r squared, which is the surface area of the sphere, equals 6r squared. Okay. Now, what I can do here, so you've got r squared on both sides. We could just divide by r squared, right? So, and you're allowed to do that with an equation. So we divide this side by r squared and this side by r squared. r squared divided by r squared will just go and then it'll become 1. So you're left with 4 pi r squared divided by r squared, again we'll go, so you get that, and you end up with having 4 pi equals 6, now that certainly isn't true isn't it, this is impossible, okay, 4 pi is not equal to 6, so in other words then, the, what I assumed you are equal is wrong, so we could say so, they cannot be equal, okay, because 4 pi certainly is not 6, so if you think of pi 3.14, 4 of them is a lot more than 6.